threats of U.S. Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. Denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you can... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground, target confirmed. Waiting on your go, over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging and out. Here comes the traffic jam. Stay calm! We're not here to hurt you! CIA? We have the deal! 
deal. Not with us. Where you headed? Colorado, you lying! Your man was getting hey, the man. house! Who exactly is that us? No, it's not Iraqi either. Pantheon. Pantheon. We need to leave. You won't stand a chance against them. They haven't spotted us. Let's keep it that way. Come on. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm that... aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements of wait. Wait? What the hell with that? But uh, come in. Where did your way? No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Okay, so let's start by softening them up. Let's get to work, Case. That's our opening. Let's punch through it. PK, keep pushing. Meet us at the bottom. Ah. I think we're good. 
Everyone all right? Is this you? No, 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 no! Adler! Stand down! Wait till Woods gets a load of this. Goddamn Russell Adler. CIA traitor. He been on the run, what, 10 months? Marshall, huh? Woods' new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Halawi can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brook. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. Captain. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. 
According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adder discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called The Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savadi Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. Adler didn't leave much intel on Savati Dumas, but I can tell you a thing or two about Avalon. It's a playground for the filthy rich, and crime factions run the whole city. Everyone's looking for who to push off the slide. When they pick a target, they hire someone like Savati. She used to be part of the Guild, one of the most powerful Avalon factions, but now she freelances. Savati said that Adler hired her to follow a Pantheon trail. So you're gonna join her on that job tonight. We wanna see firsthand where that trail leads. Maybe we'll even add some muscle to the team. You'll scratch her back, but sure as hell watch your own. Trust is gotta be earned. For the guild. He'll be on his yacht tonight taking a call with the Pantheon. We'll be listening in. Once that call is finished, you'll finish Yannick. That'll draw the target I really want. But first things first. Let's see what you're made of, Case. Get to the bell tower. I don't care how. Quiet, loud, just get there. case. You could go for a swim, avoid some guards. Once 
Once we listen to Yannick's call and confirm a Pantheon lead for Adler, I'm declaring open season on the Guild. They have it coming. I should know. I used to work for them. I never cared for Yannick's parties when I was with the Guild. Though they were good practice in how to blend into a scene. Any girl who caught Yannick's eye was in for a long night. So let's cut his short. So close, do it quick. This morning I stashed the rifle at the top of the tower. Remember, Case, don't pull the trigger until we hear his call. We need to confirm any connection to Pantheon. Yannick's near the umbrella, upper deck left side, surrounded by girls. My boys are still counting it. It's all there. Remember, this deal is one and done, huh? Don't need to get mixed up with the CIA. Oh, your pantheon thing. You'll send the hardware tonight, understand? That's not what we agreed to. Tonight, Yannick. Don't test me. So the pantheon and the CIA are connected somehow. We got what we need. Take the shot. Yannick was just our first domino. We have more work to do tonight. Head back towards the payphone. I'll pull up in the white van. Guards inbound. Word on Yannick got out. Okay. 
Hey, turn it down. That's Gabriel up there. He's cool. They called an emergency meeting at Chateau de la Haute Lune. Three guild leaders will be in attendance to smooth things over with Pantheon. I want to get paid, so we're going to crash that party. Chateau de la Haute Lune, let's go! The guild will lock the restaurant down and meet in a safe room on the second floor. Door can only be unlocked from the inside. You're gonna help me get that door open. We're a few minutes out yet. Just enough time to get changed. There we are. Fits for guild security. Personally, I want these guild bastards dead. Pantheon's the icing on the cake for me. This is my stop. Get to the safe room's antechamber on the second floor. An alarm will go off. That's okay. The guild doesn't know you. So your best option is to surrender and play along. When you get inside, wait for my cue. Pantheon right now. Get inside and find the safe room. Of all the guild assholes meeting tonight, the Sadie is the biggest. If we can't get them, consider me a no for your little club. After they're done meeting upstairs. Ah, oh, come on, live a little. Uh, I'm going out for a smoke. Don't be gone for long. They told us to stay here. CIA contact, I don't know. Can't ever trust those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm tempted to break open one of these bottles. Mm. Well. Jane, get to the antechamber. Trip the alarm. I'll be ready. for my signal, not before. Timetable's moved up. I want that shipment sent tonight. 
few CIA types are all the same. And this one? <laughs> Troublemaker. What's going on in there? We have a visitor. Walked right into the lion's den. Alone. Uninvited. Maybe this one works for a rival, huh? Or maybe Pantheon is trying to squeeze us. We came to you, Asaidi. We learn the truth one way. <laughs> or another. Show me your visit. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, look at that. You're a long way from home, Case. This man is extremely dangerous. Kill him immediately. I mean that though. Don't shoot, please! Case. Nadler was right. 
The CIA might be behind Pantheon. Let's hope he isn't right about that mystery weapon. Maybe it's time you take me to this safe house of yours. Got word from Case. Savati Duma agreed to join us at the Rook, so we're two for two. I'm returning from Munich with Felix Newman. Newman's cut from a different claw, a brutal Stasi enforcer and a tech genius. He used to be a pain in the CIA's ass. That was before he gave the middle finger to the Stasi and defected to West Germany. Newman claims he's moved on from a life of violence and doesn't even arm himself anymore. One way or the other, he couldn't turn down a chance to stick it to the CIA once again. He'll get that opportunity soon. He's gonna try to break into Langley's network and find out where they're holding Russell Adler. Still haven't warmed up to that sev yet, but hey, at least we didn't get killed in our sleep. Newman's been craking all night. I already got something. Come on. All right, Newman. Care to share? Please, call me Felix. We are all friends here. Yeah, of course. Russell Adler is in your Washington, D.C. black site. The subterranean one that went into operation almost three years ago. DC Black Sun. There are blueprints as well. It is located underneath Capitol Station. I assume you're aware of this. I see. Well, it includes a small maximum security wing. That is where you'll find your prize. We need a game plan. You in, right? I wouldn't be sitting here if I wasn't. I'll take that. Newman. Felix. I need to wait into that black site. I'm still investigating vulnerabilities. Good man. Let me know when you got something, okay? The DC tunnel system houses the black site, which according to the schematics that I um, borrowed, has an entrance directly beneath Capitol Station. The black site holding Adler is secured by a retinal scan. We won't have access, at least not anymore. We have an opportunity though if we move fast. This Saturday night, the station is hosting a political event. Take it, Felix. Interestingly, one of the event's attendees, a Senator Jack McKinna, has security clearance to the black site. We only need a high-resolution image of his eyes to get past the retinal scanner. I'm working on something for that. So we're gonna show up to this fundraiser, get what we need from the Senator, then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happened. Sounds simple enough. Don't you think? I surprise even myself. I just hope Sav and Case can get the retinal scan. You're going through a lot of trouble to rescue this Adler fellow. You're telling me. Image received on our end, Case. Audio's coming in clean. Ball is yours. You're stepping into my world now, Case. Or should I say Jess Burke? Photojournalist for the Washington Telegraph. Don't make any waves. You'll get through security, no problem. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course we would have. Keep moving, please. At least we'll keep them closer to home. I've always loved it. Both my kids. 
Things are starting to wrap up in there, just so you know. Enjoy. Have a good night. Hi, I was just on my way out. I don't know why you're here exactly, but you need to be very, very careful. Langley has assembled a team to track the three of you down, and they may even have eyes here tonight. If you are spotted, forget about suspension. Livingston will literally bury you alive. So it's great to see you. We'll catch up soon. Keep with the plan. Fine, Seth. There you are. Come join me at table 14. Take a seat. Do I look the part? Just another business tycoon's trophy wife. The senator's on stage now. Use your camera to get a better look. See the man speaking to Governor Clinton? Say hello to Senator McKenna. Put that camera to good use, Case. Got it. The Senator isn't giving interviews tonight, and he doesn't go anywhere without his security detail. So the easy option is off the menu. Here, take this. I've done some scouting, marked a few leads that could help get him isolated and get you close enough to do the retinal scan. Take your pick. Got any questions? Now's the time to ask. I'll tell you what I can. When the senator arrived, the waiter passed him a note. Whatever's on it put McKenna in a real bad mood. He crumpled the note and shoved it in his coat pocket right before he checked in. If we get our hands on that note, I bet we could use whatever's on it to our advantage. Senator McKenna seems to be having domestic troubles. Had a fight with his wife when he got here. Lots of smiling through gritted teeth. She stormed off. Hasn't spoken to him since. Just been drowning her troubles at the bar. Maybe you should lend her a sympathetic ear. The floor is yours, Jess Burke. One more, please. Oh, a journalist. Weren't you told that my husband and I aren't doing interviews or photos? I am not my husband's keeper, nor his secretary. I'm his wife, even if that routinely slips his mind. Yes, it could. But if you actually had anything that could do damage, you wouldn't be bothering me. If you want access to my husband, follow his gaze to the perky young tits. Check the auction hall. That's where I last saw his aide. A could be our ticket to a photo op with McKenna. Her name is Anne Johansson. The back of someone's head is not my type, particularly yours. If I share the case, I... Time to use the mic on that camera of yours. Act like you're taking pictures. 
Over there, that's the senator's aide. She and her mystery friend seem to be having a very serious conversation. Audio is clean, remain focused. We'll get his money. I'm telling you, if we just wait for the election, we can squeeze way more out of them. And I'm telling you, his wife knows about me. We're leaving money on the table. Look, if we tell him about the tape tonight, he'll panic, pay anything. But if we don't make our move now, we won't get any money. Trust me. Here, take the valet ticket. Go get the tape from the car. Fine. I'll get it in a few minutes. Black men and a senator with sex tapes. Can't beat the classics. That'll give us some serious leverage on McKenna. Nab his valet ticket and get the keys to their car. Then grab the goods. Go. I'll keep an eye on the girl. Once you have the ticket, take it to the valet outside. I want that Hall of Fame, but how can I get it if I can't get in the case? Was the Though I heard the Germans were lighting fireworks in front of the brigade. Interesting. Some Germans are nostalgic for lighting the GPU. They call it post Pardon, sir. This area is for authorized personnel only. It's natural. Checked. We're in a recession. Ticket. Cold, cold night tonight. I wouldn't stay out there too long. Here you go, sir. Now you just need to find that car. Those keys have a fob on them. Maybe you can sound the horn. Doing in my car. Hey, a CIA security detail is heading your way. Lay low and get that tape to the senator's wife. Good luck with the retinal scan. Stepping out now for a wardrobe change.
Top me off, will you? You again. Ugh. What now? Do you now? Did this out of the kindness of your heart, I'm sure. So, what is it you want in exchange? That's really all you're after? I'll just need a few minutes. Would you mind keeping Miss Johansson busy until I'm back? Excuse me. Yes, it's me. I need your assistance with a delicate matter. Sorry, I would never spend 60 grand on this thing. What? Right. The Senator isn't speaking to press tonight. And as of now, I'm off the clock. So go ruin someone else this evening. Who the fuck are you? That bitch's lapdog? She doesn't know shit, and neither do you. You showed it to her? Oh, shit. Shit. Listen to me. You have no idea how dangerous that woman is. I have to get out of here. Leaving so soon, Ms. Johansson. Miriam, please. I was never going to actually release that video. It was just a scam to earn a little extra money. It's nothing personal. Everything is personal in politics. Do you think I don't know what goes on under my own roof? I know how this looks, but I swear... I have nothing but respect for you and your husband. My husband, God bless his soul, is an idiot. But he gets votes. That makes him a useful idiot. You, on the other hand... Ah! <gasps> what the hell? <sighs> Miriam, please, don't... Don't do what, dear? <sighs> Jason, I think Miss Johansson has had too much to drink. Please help her out. As for you, a deal's a deal. Okay, I'm here. What's this all about? I've cleaned up another of your messes, as usual. Unfortunately, you're in need of a new aide. Perhaps a nice young man this time. Could have handled it myself. I promised this reporter a photo, if you'd be so kind. Dear, run along. Thank you for your investigative diligence. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. And feel free to put your drinks on my husband's tab. Scan is good. Nice work, Ace. Time to get to the roof. That's how we'll reach Adler. I marked the roof sterile on your map. Take a look. The mechanical room on the roof is your access point to the restricted elevator shaft. It will take you all the way down to the black site. I don't know. All the situations in this. One point. One. Do you believe it? I wouldn't if I hadn't seen it. If you'd asked me before the game, I would have said the Giants had been a chance. Cops on the roof, just doing their job, so stay clear of them. Marshall and I will meet you in the mechanical room. Once you're on the roof, look for a fixed ladder. Yeah. 
Remember what Marshall said, stay out of sight. I hear you. Switching to the floor. I'm freezing my balls off up here. Good luck with that. I think we're stuck up here. Mm, cold and bored. Half my pack, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we're well, almost there. I'm quitting tomorrow. Inside the mechanical room, you see a wall mounted hatch. That's the elevator shaft. Got a 1014 and R1. Requesting backup. 10-4. Now just stay calm and no one's gonna get hurt. Do we have a problem here? I sir, I, I just found Why don't you just let it <clears throat> That's one hell of a hit. Not taking any chances. 1023, backup's on the way. 1022 that. It's taken care of. Copy that. The bag's for you, Case. You're underdressed. I'll keep watch until I hear from you two. Turning back now. Hit the scanner case. I modified the infrared image to highlight the capillaries in the Senator's retina. It should have just enough resolution. security room to see what we're up against. If you want to go in guns blazing, I got your back. Major situation ahead. Multiple targets, hostages. Be careful. Tango's in the room to your right. That silencer should come in handy. Line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. Ducks in a row. I'm 
seeing two Pantheon in the room ahead. See all the pricks up there? Starting to get a picture yet. That event? Don't be a no. Hero. You go through it. We can. We were catering. <laughs> you were <laughs> <milk. laughs> Up. I see a bunch of shit blocking the door ahead of you. Find a way around. I'll head to your position now. When you're on the other side, clear the barricade and let me through. Get you to the other side. Maintenance shafts, vents, whatever. That's a lot of door. And Adler's on the other side. Felix, you sure if we fry the power box, it'll pop the locks? Assuming these schematics are accurate, yes. And let's see if your high-tech toy is up to the task. Bust out that bomb on wheels case. You freak this lowrider out with anything else? I did install a short-range taser. Not very powerful, but strong enough to stun. Case, look. Adler, in the cell. How much more time do they need in there? Doesn't seem like anyone knows we're here. Pretty quiet.
box is on the far wall to the right of the door. Look for a red light. That's the only way out. Backup's got a ride waiting for us. The hell is this? Who the hell is that? Down. 
guns after you, Abby. How's that feel? It's like progress. Up through the service hatch. You two first. I'll give you a boost. You first, Adler. <sighs> Come on, Case. Down. Here. Almost home free. Plan A. Go up. We'll just take the scenic route. Let's get moving. You said you had backup earlier. Who'd you find crazy enough to pull a stunt like this? Real upstanding citizens. I bet.
Forget the front. Every uniform stuck at PC just arrived at your doorstep. Try each exit. Might be clear. We'll meet you there. Eyes up, we got cover. Ready for Xville. What's the play? No play. This place is surrounded by cops. We can't reach you. God damn it. You guys see the great escape? Yeah, you didn't make it out. And we will. If we can outgun them, we outrun them. Just like that, huh? Just like that. this before? No, but I don't see any better options and I'm running out of bullets. Get ready! Just like that, huh? Just like that. Ever do anything like this before? No. But I don't see any better options, and I'm running out of bullets. Get ready! Station? It is all hands on deck here. What the hell happened? We busted Adler out. You broke into a CIA black site to free Russell Adler. Are you out of your mind? Something's going on, Jane. Something big. Okay, Adler was right. The agency is compromised. You're sure it's not Adler? No, but the guys that hit the black site? They weren't friends of his. What guys? It 
It was the Pantheon. Same group that showed up out of nowhere in Kuwait. There's no way that they can know about the black side unless someone inside the CIA is feeding them intel. Someone high up. Is it Livingston? Maybe. Listen, Troy. They are pinning the attack on you, all of you. Woods, Case, Adler, you're on Interpol's most wanted list. Red notices all around. Yeah, I got the picture. I can help. No, it's better if you're insulated from the blowback. Spare me the knight in shining armor shit, Troy. You want to help? Keep digging. Look into Livingston. Okay, let me see what I can do. Thanks. And Jane. Yeah. Don't trust anyone. A liability? Seriously? You'd never pass for Delta. An interpreter, then. You don't even speak Arabic. I'm wasting my I'm breath. I'm not taking a vote here. Okay, you're staying back. I want you here with Felix and Woods. Well, if you have this figured out, I'm not just going to sit around. I'm going out. Let her go. Moving on. Adley, you sure that's all the lie we told you? Before you executed him? You're in my world now, Marshal. Gonna have to grow up fast. I'm listening. Alawi knew the Pantheon had a presence in Iraq. It's part of the technology exchange with Saddam Hussein. Pantheon gets covering facilities. Hussein gets access to an experimental weapon. But Alawi didn't know what the weapon was? No. Only that they're calling it the Cradle. The Cradle? The cradle. And it's in Iraq right now. Presumably. Alawi said it was in transit to a remote palace. Demonstrations taking place in a bunker underneath. Hussein is a world-class collector of palaces. There are many on this map alone. Alawi was confident he knew the one. Yes. This one. Let's take a first-hand look then. We'll finalize plans soon and we'll ship out. Dismiss. But I'll take these. Enjoy them, I brought them for you. Figured. You don't usually smoke the shit brands. Don't want you raising your standards. Well, there's never been a better time to be cheap as hell. Hey. Yeah. Listen, I understand that in your own Adler-ass way you invited us to this place. Maybe you've got squatters rights, but don't much care. You got a point? What I do care about, what I need you to understand is that this here is my team. You need us more than we need you, okay? We broke you out of that black site, and I just need an excuse to send you back. Bottom line, you're a stranger to me. All I got on you is your reputation, and it ain't all roses, Adler. Well, you don't have to trust me, Marshal. But it might be best if you do, for you and your team. I'll be the judge of that. Ooh, a contest. So exciting. Should I get a ruler? By the way, Adler, I'm still waiting to get paid. I had a little something stashed for you upstairs, but it seems I was robbed while on vacation. Ah, you just loaned it to us. Forgot to tell you, all. Surprise. I just think you and I should spend some quality time together. We should get plenty in Iraq. My thoughts exactly. The palace we're after is in western Iraq. Syrian desert. There's a complication. Desert Storm. Coalition forces launched the operation two weeks ago against Saddam Hussein. They've taken out as many strategic targets from the air as possible. They haven't destroyed the palace yet, but that's about to change. British SAS forces are on the ground hunting mobile Scud launchers, and they've marked our palace for a massive aerial bombing. That can't happen. We don't know what Pantheon's hiding in the bunker under the palace. If it's destroyed, we lose the trail. I reached out to an old collaborator of mine at MI6 for a favor. She pressured the SAS to delay their airstrike, but it'll come at a cost. We're gonna pose as Delta Force operatives so this Helen Park can get us to the front. Then we're gonna help the SAS clean up those scud launches. After that, palace is ours. Pick 
We're nearly in position. We're at the top of the ridge, kicking things off. Maybe a dozen tangos down there. Rubbish and unload the trucks. Yes, sir. We're building our layup here. Your crew's not too shabby, Park. <laughs> now let's see what else they've got. This will be our base of operations for now. Here, you won the straw vote and get to carry the tack map. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so you'll find it useful. We need to neutralize three more Scud sites. Stay alert out there. You might find other things of interest as well. Gladney's promised to help your team breach the palace if you destroy those Scuds. Help him out, and we'll see if he's a man of his word. You can talk to him yourself if you'd like. He'll stay here in the layup working logistics for the SAS. Once you're ready to head out, we'll follow your lead. Got no shortage of guns. Grab whatever gear you want. Might want some of that C4. Should've tear right through a stud launcher. We'll get going when you're all told up. Case, if there's anything else you want to know about the mission, I'd speak to Gladney over there. Need something? Not at the moment. It's too many bloody surface-to-air missiles. In fact, I just received word that some of your Delta Force friends were shot down nearby. We have our own attack helo, but it's not getting up there unless you find some way to disable the SAM sites in this region. The Iraqis have a few new encampments, likely connected to these cross-border missile strikes. Intel reports several unusual forces embedded in the camps, I'm not sure what you should expect there. You're mostly on your own there. Command's made some supply drops in the area, but we haven't had a chance to retrieve them. If you find any, they're yours. Best of British to you out there. You've got a couple rovers available, Case. Take your pick. Smoke marks a supply drop. Might be worth checking out. I'll keep an eye out. That'll help. We should grab any others we find. Let's keep moving.
Got eyes on tangos. Haven't spotted us yet. That'll blow your cover. We've been spotted. They'll see him go down. That's risky.
Let's hit the road. There. Gladney, we've spotted one of the SAM sites. Excellent. If you take those surface-to-air missiles off the board, we can get your helo support. Might be worth it. Don't pull that trigger. Might alert someone. They're on us! in the trees if you want to meet. Delta in the flesh. Come on, I can show you what we're dealing with. Pull that trigger. 
That's risky. I wouldn't take that shot. be looking for us. Move out.
pull that trigger. Might alert someone. That'll blow your cover. Target marked. Another Pantheon in camp. Wouldn't mind paying them a visit. Iraqis in the area. Clean. Don't pull that trigger. Don't pull that trigger. That's risky. I wouldn't take that shot.
Maintain the home. Like a pro. Good. Several tangles on the right. the October trials. Our two subjects, brothers, began exposure. Patient A through injection, and patient B through inhalation. Their pupils are dilated, but vitals are stable. Results to follow. Pantheon was experimenting on a set of brothers. Two exposure methods. But exposure to what? It appears your mystery group might be real after all, Adler. But you don't trust me? Just as much as I need to. Don't ask why. MI6 has no intelligence on the Pantheon. Are you sure these aren't just soldiers of fortune? Positive. Those look like amateurs by comparison. There's one more encampment left. Another SAM site over there. We can hit it now or later. Your call, Case. Hal ra'aytum dalik? Alim. Tafaqqadu al-amr. Alim. La tafaqqadu amra. Tafaqqadu al-amr wa a'alimun ku mustajadat. Case, 6 o'clock. Tafaqqadu ala ayya atharin lahum? La. Nahnu bimufradina. Case, a few to your left. Might alert someone. They'll see him go down.
One more Sam site to go. You all might get on Gladney's good side. Over that ridge, see it? We're clear. Gladney marked an area of interest not far from here. Should we have a look? Got eyes on another supply drop. Lieutenant Colonel Bannon of Delta Force, requesting immediate backup. We're taking heavy fire at the helo. Requesting assistance. Is anyone out there? We've got an injured team in a down bird. Doesn't matter. I need you to call an airstrike. Mm. Terminal's inside the helo. Go! Mm.
Thought our mission was over till you showed up. Thank you. From one Delta unit to another. Keep the sack count. Godspeed. An airstrike. Pretty nice parting gift. I might be Delta Force forever after this. There's a friendly scout in the area. Tango's on your three. See more security here, too. Hey Delta, I see you're close. I'm up the ridge and inside the fence with intel. Glad you made it, Delta. Let me show you what I'm seeing. That's risky. Might alert someone. Bombs away. Thank you, Delta Force. That's risky. Keep it up.
With minigun, take him down. Need something? Impressive. Now that's out of the way. If you're ready to move on that palace, I'll notify my men. We go in now, we go in with what we have. You sure? I'll give the word.
We're going down. We'll hold the area. Be quick about it. Hostiles inside. They're taking cover. Or engage. Got a visual. Got a target. Better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Dom's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. We trade it all for a WMT. We're close. case there. Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthing has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands too? A sample of it. Based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. Some notes, all in Russian. The project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. America. All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. Did you get what you wanted? Not exactly, but we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get to the palace rooftop.
agree on something. The Pantheon has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goosey, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Atlas volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Sarah about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. I told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? Perhaps it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me in case stateside? I'd consider it. Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. <laughs> he should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, Chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us buffer fish? Hey, you said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to leaving. Ask for help, man. Fuck you too. Fine, have fun. Does it look like I'm having fun? No, it's n that's not what I meant. You got dealt a bad hand. You're gonna get dealt bad hands, kid. With us, the stakes are high. Be honest, I don't think I could have done it. Come back home after what happened in Panama. <clears throat> Trusted anyone again. You keep believing in the ones who got your back, who go to battle for you. Adler was one of those. When those records Termed up after Panama, the wire transfers to Adler from Raul Menendez, two-bit dope slinger. I smell bullshit. Adler, turn against his brothers for cash? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those threads he loves, they ain't cheap now. Listen, I know he can be a goddamn psychopath. I get it but he's on our side. He just got his own way of doing things. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are anymore. <laughs> You're figuring it out, kid. Handling things, making calls. I just wish I was out there kicking ass with you. Kills me to be in this thing. Hold on now, listen. You're essential, man. All right, chair or no chair. I know you can't get around the way you used to, but this? This is strong. Maybe you were, maybe you were Captain America before and now, now you're like, Professor X. Who? Get out of my face, man.
Adler believes the Pantheon gained access to a military research facility called Advanced Technologies and Applications. Sounds impressive. It's located in eastern Kentucky. The building is marked as cost for solutions on the surface. Underneath, there's a whole different story. This place looks pretty remote. Nothing but forests and hills. We should park a few miles out, hike the rest of the way in. Once we're inside, our target is the biotechnology wing. Adler thinks that's where the cradle may have come from. We need some answers on what this thing does. Didn't you say Adler worked there at some point? Briefly, about 10 years ago. He mentioned unusual classified programs there using human subjects. And suddenly the place was shut down and quarantined after a biohazard incident. The cradle. It's sure looking that way. Seb, how's it going on your side? Still looking for a way in. The north doors are totally sealed. You? Case and I are in South Gate utility entrance. Looks like someone's been through here recently. Use the freight elevator. Chain's broken. All right, Matt's going. Your turn. Technology restricted. Please see security for access.
It's for you. It's fantastic to see you again, Case One. How have you been feeling? A friendly reminder that most of the facility is off limits to patients. I hope you understand. Welcome back, Case. Biotechnology restricted by Security Access 4. Four director key cards required for entry. Evacuation protocol five. Bringing back memories yet? We thought we'd never see this place again. Those are the stairs we want. Don't worry, the cradle can't hurt us anymore. We're special. Special since we first experienced the cradle. Ten years ago. Good morning. Welcome to Advanced Combat Research. ACR employees are reminded that authorized safety equipment must be run on the testing floor at all times. Case might be having a Radio shop for a while now. Case, are you guessing any of this?
approach platform should be safety locked when not in testing. originally designed to do.
staff was absolutely thrilled with the results of last week's cradle trial. You're exceeding all of our expectations. In fact, uh, we think you're ready for the next step. Please join us this Friday for a special admin seminar hosted by Dr. Julius Whitney. documented the making of a cradle here. They used to take their reports to the director. Now it's up to us. Maybe he'll give us his keycard in return. It's never that easy. We'll find the missing reports for him. Director wants those reports, Case.
of the Pantheon case. They were a CIA branch, unknown to even the other Black Ops divisions. They developed the Cradle. A new generation of operatives would be born of it.
Administration, the unsung heroes of advanced technologies and applications. Welcome to the Nerve Center. Data collection. gate opened. We'll need to drain the water to get to it. Switch locked. Hello, esteemed visitor. Welcome to the Cognitive Research Lab. In CR, state-of-the-art neuroscience and psychology. 
Switch locked. Drone switches one, two, and three are locked. Override timer initiated. Twenty-five seconds remaining.
to report suspicious behavior to your immediate supervisor. Restraints may be necessary at times as well. I, I sincerely apologize. Uh, just until we understand these recent behavioral changes. Safety is our top priority.
Director keycard accepted. Access to gyro technology granted. What is it? A hallucinogen? Seems so. Case, you were ready to tear us both apart. Never seen that look in your eyes before. Hope we don't see it again. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, 
Some you should see. No popcorn? I'm serious. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> You cracked the disc. Indeed. No, 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 no. You must make sure that... Yes, you have it. Ready, Dr. Gusev? Bring her in. Subject 18 has been infected with the cradle. She's now in proximity to our control subject. Transmission should occur momentarily. It's a biological weapon. You know this already. Keep watching. Faster this time? Faster, yes. And more aggressive, as requested. Wonderful. Isn't that your friend? Harold? You did now. Apparently so. Turn it off. I still have a few more minutes. I said turn it off! Grab the other end, will you? Good to see you up. I imagine that bender you are on is still taking a toll. And you know, learning that your friend is a huge bitch. At least you missed the house collapse last night. Right into the water. I don't know about you, but I might start sleeping outside. Let's drop them right here. Somebody! I don't want to bother Marshall. So slow. What? This again? It's near the end of the video. Listen. Okay. <clears throat> Listen? I was able to isolate Gusev's audio this moment in the background. Now. Still waiting for B-24, a wire from Fuchina. B-24, a wire from Fuchina. Who the hell's Fuchina? I have no idea. Not who, what. Fuchina is the casino Lutazzi. Only the Lutazzi's and their business partners use that alias. Adler suspected an Avalon faction was connected with the Pantheon. Now we know. Not bad. What about B-24? I have done some work for the Lutazis. Regrettable, yet profitable. <laughs> I have a contact that might be willing to shed light on that. Would help Felix uh, connect the dots here. So have you two. We need a plan. Marshal! Can I talk to you? You're unusually quiet. B-24, it turns out, 
refers to a safe deposit box contained within the Casino Lutazzi's archive room. As for the wire mentioned on the disc, I assume the Pantheon is funding their research through laundered casino money. Whatever's in that box, my money says it points us right to Gusev. That's the hope. So we're gonna blow open their vault, but it's not the cash we're after. Inside the vault is the only place I can override the archive room's security. And while the Lutazis are distracted by our heist, Kate's is gonna infill the archive room and find the box. Even getting close to that room will be tough. Not if Casino Security escorts Case right into the wing containing the archive room. Where they usually question persons of interest. Case is going to get captured on purpose. Precisely. It's dangerous, and it's going to take all five of us to pull it off. Starting with me at the high roller table. When the big there sets our whole plan into motion. We'll be ready. I know you will. Let's find out what the Pantheon's hiding in that casino. Good, you ready? Good on my end. Just wait on case. You. All set. Welcome to Casino Lutazzi. Chips, please. Your boy here is feeling real lucky. Very good, signore. Do you have any weapons that need to be checked? Right. Probably don't want sore losers walking around straight. Grazie. Enjoy. This place is something else. Marshal, walk over to the sign in front of the card display. To the right of the bar. On my way. Such a delight. This place is bringing back bad memories. Out always wins, Sav. I wasn't here to gamble. Killed business. It wasn't pretty. These days, Casino Ludazzi is a neutral space. The other Avalon factions respect that. Feeling good about tonight? I think I'm going to call it a night. What? Why? Because he keeps losing. Ciao, signore. You look like someone who appreciates luxury and finesse. And an edge. Invoca a lupo. Time to play some poker, Marshal. Gotta win that hoity-toity high roller bar. Only way we'll get access to the lounge. And the high roller lounge has what we'll need next. Take a seat. Don't mind if I do. There is no shame in losing, Mr. Marshall. Mr. Marshall. Welcome, signore. The game is Olden Poker, with the winner receiving the high roller bar. Looking forward to it. You know the score. Gotta tap all three junction boxes to give me the full view.
sentito un rumore. Confermo. Vai a controllare. Vai in rapporto se trovi qualcosa. Security room feeds. These guys ain't messing around. One more. Outside the door. This should be easy. Qualcosa non va. Ricevuto. Controlla. Capito. Vedi come sta. Se trovi qualcosa fammi sapere. Get ready. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a little sewer rat. Let's talk. In private. That'll do it. Case is in. Marshal, your time to shine. Win that table and you'll have access to the High Roller Lounge. My new friend here is so generous. He keeps giving me all his chips. <laughs> Where I'm from, we teach our kids to win with grace and humility. I'm afraid you are not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. This is a game for adults, not school children. <sighs> that bar is mine. I got a camera feed behind that schmuck. Time to turn your luck around. We here to talk or play cards? Bet. Go. Cool. A fearless American does not know when to take a bow, huh? Bet. Uh, I can't see his damn cards. Shake things up a little. Mr. Marshall learned grace and humility, but... Uh, not arithmetic. <laughs> He's got nine and ten of clubs. Nothing there. Raise. Raise. Such confidence. Call. Should I practice mercy, ma chérie? Huh? He's bluffing. He still ain't got shit. Signore Bado checks. Raise it. Signore Marshall bets. You got this, motherfucker. Go. And now, the final card. His only chance is... God damn, lucky bastard got us straight. All in. Sev, do your thing. Marshal, whatever's up your sleeve, time to use it. Your drink, signore. Oh, you must be... <coughs> 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 
I'm so sorry, sir. Please, let me help. What are you doing? I'm terribly Stop. sorry. You're making it worse. Just leave me alone, huh? Oh, man. You need a minute? No, no. Just go away. Continue the game. All in. Gentlemen, show down, please. For Jack. What? <gasps> Senor Marshall wins. How did this happen? Yeah, yeah. Good game. Move into the high roller lounge. What? You see the pit boss in there? He's there. Got a key card hanging right off his ass. That's what we need. Once I get in and create the distraction, I'll grab the card and hand it off to Felix. Felix, you in position? Of course. Is your brother still with that little placing of his? She left him. Finally. Oh, yes. My friend is somewhat of an art collector. Oh, what kind of art? Everything you can get his hands on. Because remember, no less. Sorry, signore, you'll need the... Uh... One of these? Congratulations. <laughs> Come right in. He's inside. Marshal, head to your right. You can place the scrambler on the slot machine closest to the double doors. Felix, you're almost up. Signore, please, the cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, the machine is malfunctioning. You can't claim it. Get back here! Finally, took you long enough. Hmm. What seems to be the problem? Are you serious? Ah, yes. Now I did warn management that these machines seemed but Like I told you, the problem isn't the machines. I'll need to reset the cell. Do it. Hey, man. This lady needs a bucket to carry those winnings. Senor, hey, I'm sorry. Or, or yeah. maybe some of those canvas bags with some big dollar signs on. Please understand, bro. there's been a technical issue with working to resolve. Now get to the server room and reset those slot machines. Feelings. Things like this, I don't know why I do it. I don't know what I was expecting out of the high roller lounge. En route to the server room. After resetting the machines, I'll move to the next phase. Don't you never show your face around here again. I'm telling you, I'm not the guy. Animals. Hey, what's taking so long? We need these slots back up. Need to reset that server, Felix. We're good now. Grazie. Now, to reprogram this keycard. After that, we'll have access to the armory and elevator. to the previous call for work here as well. Capito. 
There's a vent in there you might be able to use. Programs a keycard. Fatti vedere. Ho sentito un rumore. Capito. Vai a controllare. Controlla e fai la. I see the computer in the corner. Given the keycard, armory, and elevator access. Hard to save. We're one step closer to kicking off the ice. Once we have that distraction going, Case can make his move. Back on the casino floor. How's the drink sound right about now? Quite welcome. Head straight for the bar then. Schnapps, please. On the rocks. Right away, signore. Here you are. Enjoy. Danke. On the entry. Cards in hand, heading downstairs. Hey! Here. I'm taking my break. For that card, you now have access to the high security floor below us. And no one but the Lutasi Unicircle are allowed down there. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, the floor, it, it keeps shifting on me. You've had way too much to drink. Is something the matter? Nothing out of the ordinary. My colleague here is a bit inebriated. Should I bring a glass of water? That would be great, thanks. She's in. Seb, get to the elevator on the bottom floor. Send it up for me and Felix. On it. Rapporto. Niente di particolare. Ho sentito. Capo, chiudo.
first boys. I'm off to the armory. You loaded up, it's time to hit the vault. We'll meet you there. Quite the collection. Grab whatever you can. Feels good. Simple. Light. Get those weapons loaded. Just a couple more. All packed up. Leaving now. Copy that. See you in a sec. Twinkle Toss, we got a situation down here. I'm quite aware. Damn, Felix. Let's not keep Case waiting. Seth, C4. Showtime. Eight, Four, one, Igniting. Eight, Remember, we won't have long before the security response arrives. Eight, Time for the grand finale. Seth? If you kindly locate the panel. I'd appreciate it. You're about to have company. Get out here and grab yourself a gun, Seth. Right on time, light him up!
assholes preoccupied. Set, come here. Francesco, let's finish up and take them down below. Ah. Go help them up there. I'll take care of this myself. You know something about this? <laughs> and here I thought we were gonna let you off easy. <laughs> oh no. The canal is too big for you. <sighs> this is gonna get real uncomfortable now. What's going on at the vault? Great work, Case. You really took one for the team. Follow me. Heavy enemy presence on the main floor. Some civilians still running around, too. Watch your fire.
through everything inside that box from the casino's archive room. Seven Felix were right. The Utatsis were moving Pantheon cash through the casino. With a healthy cut in return. We got the breakthrough we needed. Records of wire transfers to a lab in southern Iraq. Directed to Matt V. Gusev. We notify Adler so he can take a look on the ground. Time is short. But if we can get our hands on the Pantheon's bioweapon expert, we just might break this whole thing open. I say, look, you know you're in D.C., not fucking Alaska, mm. right? <laughs> uh, quiet, quiet. Bro, and then Rome, I suppose. We have a problem. Okay, Felix. After you. You get back to that. It's Adler. Say again. Marshal. He's gone. Elaborate. The lab's empty. Gusev fled. So we're fucked. Not yet. One scientist was still inside with a canister in the cradle. Like the one we picked up at the palace. And? We had a stimulating conversation. How stimulating? It's a frame-up. Pantheon's activities will point right to Saddam Hussein. Goose is heading to the Kuwaiti airport as we speak. Well, that, that airport's in a war zone. Even if we head your way soon, can we reach it? I have a CENTCOM connection in the area. It might be willing to help us. Might? Huh. Well, if we leave within the hour, we'll make it by morning. Out. Aces, get ready. We'll get some shut eye on the way. You were impressive today. Finally, the legendary Felix Newman in action. Yes. What's on your mind? I need to make a confession. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from a priest, Felix, but speak your peace. I'm deeply ashamed of my actions in the casino. You take this non-violence thing seriously? Quite. But then I saw Lutazzi thugs beating a defenseless man mercilessly a senseless act of power. No one is innocent in that city. Afterwards, when I encountered the guard outside the vault, I lost control. In my eyes, he transformed into the avatar of everything I now reject. So I punished him. Good was probably less than what he deserved. If I lose myself to this endeavor, I am no better than the very enemy we seek to stop, yeah? Save your pity for the victims. You did what was needed to be done. No. My reaction was catharsis and indulgence. Harrow and the Pantheon won't be stopped with kind words and gentle attitudes. There is always a choice, Savati. Not always. Sims. Not now. 
Figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? Not what I expected. I left Langley because of you. Remember that, don't you? Central Command, huh? It's above the table. Unambiguous. Maybe you should give it a try. I don't know, it's a little late for me. So can you get us to Gusev? I can get you close. But Doc, this is it for me. I'm on a different path now. Once you get what you need, I'm out. It's the second time I've heard that this week. Lord, give me strength. Get your crew. You leave them five.
explosives plane is on the other side of this terminal. We still have a lot of ground to cover. Right, let's hurry. We can sneak past. Sneak?
demolition tanks will be in range any minute now. Then let's get to the game. Adler, what's your status? Almost at Gustav's plane. Still docked. Got some injured here. Check your corners. They look unarmed. Stay cool. Arjuko! Saiduni! What? So I'm reached for a gun. He was unarmed. We got rules, Adler. Can we just get back to the mission? Unbelievable. Ammo cache on the counter. Gear up.
clear. No sign of Gusev yet. Must be in the cockpit. Case, you're up. Clear. It's not Gusev's plane. We took the bait. Marshal, we need eyes on Gusev ASAP. Searching the area now. Tanks are almost here. Found him outside Terminal 3. They're taking him to a military cargo plane. Terminal 3? That's clear across the airport, Doc. So we shortcut it across the tarmac. What the hell are you talking about, man? Those tanks? <coughs> How about now? Tarmac and we lose Goosem. We're sending ducks in to stay. I hate it when it's right. Goose's cargo plane is on the other side of the tarmac. No way we'll make it in time! I'll think of something! You gotta keep moving! Up now. What? No! No! 
told us what he knows. It's soft in your old age, huh, Sims? You've got your old ways and I've got mine. Gustav's in my custody now. Marshal, you catch all that? Affirmative. Mother Lowe's in Borkuda. I'll let the others know we're headed there. If the cradle leaves that camp, the Pantheon can release it anytime, anywhere. Millions could be at risk. It's up to us. If the cradle's in Borkuda, the Pantheon will have that base well defended. We'll approach at low altitude, land a few miles out. The next phase is all you said. So, hike to the base perimeter for infiltration. After that, find the Pantheon uniform to blend in. No problem. Right up your alley. Once inside, scout out the base. We need to know what defenses they have and whether there's anything you can do to weaken them. The saboteur. I think I might enjoy this. Once their defenses are down, the rest of us can move in. Then we'll need to find and secure the cradle. You ready for this? Let me at them. Heavy military presence. Looks entirely pantheon. Can you get in? Inside the perimeter already. Now I just need to dress the part. Keep us updated. I guess he'll do. Hey, he's finally back. He'll need to refuel and load up again ASAP. Let him know. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Marshal, I'm in uniform. About to engage in a little reconnaissance. We're all ears over here. An attack helicopter landed in a gated area below. I might be able to place a charge on it. If you can get that close. And they're about to service it. Wonder if I could meddle with the fuel supply. Perhaps you can add some water to it. There's a security station. Maybe I can try sweet talking the guard inside. Any other options? Probably. Looks like they're about to load cargo into it. Something to exploit. By all means. I see their SAM site. Looks loaded. You thinking about placing charges on that bad boy? Perhaps. Or I could sabotage their unloaded warheads. Bits have to swap out. If you can find someone to do it for you, sure. It's a possibility. They have a very impressive radar dish. Yeah. We need to do something about that. Could just plant a charge in the dish. Or take out its power supply. It must be connected to a generator. Any other options? Someone's stationed behind the security window there. A chat could be in order. Once you neutralize all three, we'll be good to go. And Seth, keep an eye out for the Gradle. It's somewhere on that base. Just have to work my magic on this lock.
tunnel system under the base. That's something. Looks like some kind of work authorization form. Hmm. That sounds useful. Quarantine the whole camp. I'm gonna start. more of these. See anything like that? Something's up. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, what's your status? Oh, okay. <laughs> 
others down. Don't forget to... We're going back now. Do what you gotta do. I could use more of these. Sergeant Whitman, that I'll have it ready for him. Out. Copy that. Is the radar system operational right now? As far as I know. Why? Is something wrong? Junk. They could be right. I'm still trying to figure this shit out. Looks like they recently ran a clutter simulation. Whatever that is, the radar must go offline when the simulation's running. Report codes. Interesting. Once listed as system malfunction, code 11A. He was deferring to a Sergeant Whitman over the radio. That might be useful. now hearing about this. <sighs> Was he more specific about what he wants? Not surprising, I guess. First time I've ever handled one of those. I'll just wait on your word to kick that simulation off. Radar's handled. I talked their operator into running a clutter simulation. Clutter simulation? They won't see us coming. I like that. Now for that SAM site. the security station. Camera feeds here could help me locate the cradle, but I can't get past this door. I focus on the primary objectives first. Get the defenses down.
What are you doing here? I shouldn't leave this body lying around. Got a situation. Have eyes on set on the south side. Nice. That's all of the targets. And no sign of the weapon. Seth, find a way into that security station. Seeing increased activity over here. Be extra cautious. Great advice. You marked the security building earlier. Find a way in. I'm on the security terminal. Stand by. It's locked with another cipher code. Yesterday morning, Commander. It's really not enough time to completely... Time? Yes. The risk of contempt... I will determine the risks. Commander, if... Is that? We've done what we came here to do. The weapon has shipped. Now we evacuate before the CIA or the Soviets learn we're here. Clear enough? Yes, ma'am. Things have been quiet around here, but I don't expect that to last much longer. Come with me. Bad news, Marshal. Lay it on me. They moved the weapon. Harrow confirmed it herself. Jane's here? Now? Just saw her on the security feed. In some lab. Probably underground. Jesus. All right, new plan. We're not leaving empty-handed. We wreck this place, grab Harrow unharmed. I've got a few questions. I'll find a way underground. Moving out now. Seth, time to take that radar offline. My pleasure. Hey, radar man, remember me? Yeah, yeah, that clutter simulation set up. Whitman ready for it? He sure is. Starting now. Marcus 
One, we've got aircraft to the northeast. Fast approach. You got this? Are you serious? No. I've got a sim running right now. Looks like a...
slip out somewhere else. We're heading underground to find Harrow. I have the helicopter. Your Felix. Felix, you're breaking up. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Jane, what the fuck? What are you doing? Lay your weapons down. I can get you and the others out of here, Troy. I don't think so. <laughs> On you, Casey. Time for this shit. Okay, divide and conquer. Case left. Save with me. Case, I know you can hear me. Troy's made his decision. It doesn't have to be yours. You have a gift. Don't let it die here in the dirt.
each other, don't we, Case? I take it Dr. Gunther pointed you here. I knew he would eventually let us down. <laughs> but unusual circumstances make for unusual bedfellows. I'm sure you're well aware of that by now. I respect you, Case. I really do. You put everything into your work, your principles. You may not believe it anymore, but I am too. It's all just about perspective. Oh, so that's where you draw the line, Case? The nature of a weapon? <laughs> what does the form matter if it protects your values? What if you kill one person with that weapon, but you end up saving two lives? <laughs> Easy, easy. Oh, take me, kill me, Troy. There's nothing you can do to stop this. You know I hate being told what I can't do. Felix, get ready. I'm headed back to the Rook with the guest. We got lucky down there. Jeder ist seines Blutes Schmied. Everyone is responsible for their own fortune. That includes Harrow. We don't know where that weapon went. I'll consider us lucky when Jane starts talking. Yes. She'll talk, one way or the other. Count on it. We're on our way home, and I can feel a giant guillotine hanging over our heads. When it drops, it's anyone's guess. Who is this person we're bringing back? Won't say a word. She's got that I know something you don't smirk on her face. I used to think it was cute, amusing. <laughs> Maybe I should have seen this coming. She was changing, and I wasn't changing with her, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. I just can't wrap my head around this. The motivation. She was a patriot, followed in her parents' footsteps. They were both CIA, too. They were her inspiration, believed in the mission. She'd never let them down. So what am I missing? wasting that time in there. She's not going to give anything up. Just be patient. Hey, we got a problem. Ada's still playing hard to get? Big surprise. She had something embedded in her forearm, a device. Felix thinks it's a tracker of some kind. They know where we are? We should assume that. Then let's get out of here. Take her someplace else. No, we don't have time to relocate. We make our stand here. The Pantheon wonder they're gonna have to fight for her on our turf. We need to get her to talk before that happens. This sounds like she's on a schedule. Leave that to me. I've got something tucked away that'll help. I just need some time to prepare. You're okay with this, Marshal. Right? Get on it. The rest of us will start fortifying the house. This won't be an exact science. Think she'll survive it? Probably. <sighs> Is all this really necessary? I am outnumbered five and a half to one. Just give me a fucking reason. Enough bullshit. Just tell us what you're doing with that bioweapon. This doesn't have to get ugly. Well, where's the fun in that? Jane? <laughs> please, okay? You're better than this. Oh, you don't even know if you can do it. <laughs> We've both made our choices, Troy. I stand by mine, do you? <clears throat> I miss the old you. Let's see if she's still in there.
just relax. <laughs> relax? <laughs> um... Try. What is it? Talk to me. No. Please, no. Jen. I don't want to do this. No. This is your true self, separated out from the rest. We need your help, Jane. There's a bioweapon, and you're planning an attack of some kind. Can you tell me about it? I can try. But I... I would never do something like that. Where are you right now? I'm home. It's going to be all right. No! Something happened here. Jane, sweetie, listen to me. You're bleeding. Uh, I, I'll be fine. I had a little accident, that's all. <sighs> Mommy needs you to stay in your room. Why do you have a gun? J Jane, just get under your bed and stay there as long as you can, okay? It, it's like you're playing hide-and-seek. I don't want to. Jane, Jane, please, get under the bed, okay? Just get under the bed. <sighs> I love you. I love you, too. childhood memory. Your mother was in danger? Yes. Why do you think you're remembering this now? I've never stopped remembering this, Troy. It made me who I am. Or was. Or will be. I don't... I don't know anymore. What about the cradle? Does that name mean anything to you? Maybe... something to do with my mirror. Your mirror? Yes. Someone that knows... Someone that knows is inside. Don't you fucking dare. You don't need to tell them anything. I need to know. Keep your mouth shut. Win a shard by searching around. Solve the clues for numbers found. These three numbers you must glean, then put them in the order seen. When I was a girl, my mother loved making scavenger hunts for me. You scaled up the bioweapon. Where did it go after that? I don't remember.
Count them all and let's begin. The trophies minus badges will get the win. Far, far from the tree. That's why I loved having you by my side all those years. I miss it too, Troy. Tea and friendly chat. Count the guests and double that. I'm trying to picture you at a tea party. <laughs> they happen, Troy. Though it didn't last. Some people retreat into their imaginations after tragedy. I did the opposite. A shard. Two more after this one. Progress, Troy. You got something for me? Getting closer. Here goes. No. Oh. but I didn't. Whatever you have to do. 
Janie. Stay here. No. Look at me. Stay here. Don't make a sound. I'll come for you, understand? Yes, but... Shh. Be brave for me. Be brave. You never told me this about how they died. It's not something you needed to know, Troy. Again. I've been here before. A lab. They're taking something. Pantheon stole a bioweapon from a U.S. lab. Do you remember? It's starting to come back to me. Yes. Oh, there, there's a mirror shard here. Above me. Find it. We're gonna unblock you. Get those answers. Are you cooperating with them? <sighs> the lift has no power. Looks like it's connected to several generators. How's it going? You got anything for me? It's gonna take time, Troy. to that shark? Almost there. Was I ever this foolish? Helping the people that ruined us? 
Troy would do the same for me. So would the others. You really don't remember anything, do you? We've moved on. Leave me alone. Another mirror shard. I don't want to go through this again, Troy. You can do it. Whatever you experience, this seems to be a part of the process. Getting somewhere with Jane, she's cooperating. We can't stop now. Woods, I need you to take this over. Get what she knows. We'll take care of the rest. Send her my regards. Sev, seal the ops room. Listen up. We need to buy Woods time as much as we can. If he can't get answers out of Harold, and all this, everything we've been doing, is for nothing. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm not here to die a forgotten footnote in history. So lock and load. Let's give our guests the welcome they deserve. All of you. On me. Sev, Adler, Felix. Case, you want to place additional explosives out there past the wall, now's the time. You all in on this, Felix? Yes, the gloves are off. I noticed. Case, come on back. Pantheon approaching. They pop smoke, get ready. Charges case. Weapons free. Hell yeah. Keep tossing grenades.
bed. Up on the reach. And an RPG. APC incoming. Fall back. Take cover on the patio. Case, pull back. Get it. But I need answers. Now. I'm trying. Try harder. Your buddies are knocking on the door. <laughs> it's all connected. The murders. The killer. What about the killer? <sighs> I'm getting there. I grew up wanting to join the CIA. Like your parents. You grew up wanting vengeance. I wanted closure. Come on. Langley accepted me. The newspapers, the police, my aunt and uncle, they all had the same story. My parents were killed in a simple home invasion. Happens more often than you'd think. But somehow I always knew they had it wrong. Maybe now, years after starting my career, multiple promotions, maybe now I'd have access to the truth. And what'd you learn? No one had information about the murders. So over the years, I searched every physical archive I gained clearance to. When eventually I reached the most top secret repository, the files were missing. You think the CIA was hiding something from you? I can take over now. Of course, they were hiding something, Woods. They're always hiding something. And you? You are weak and gullible. Nothing like me! The drug is weakening, Jane. I'll be back in charge before you know it. I need to get to my office. What's in your office?
Are you clever? I still have the gun and the hook. Well, look at you. You're gonna have to do better than that, bitch. I will figure out what you're hiding from me. What you're planning. So what about your office? was my anchor in those days. I was lost, fumbling. He had no idea. I didn't know what to do with myself anymore. And then... Hope arrived. Someone found what I'd been looking for all this time. Who? Go ahead. See what's on the disc. that killed them. It was ordered by the CIA itself. Zero. Target's eliminated. Anything else? Negative. We're done here. you under his wing. Adler? Bullshit. If it's true, that means your parents were double agents. Or worse. Never! truth about my parents. They revealed how deep the CIA rot goes, murdering their own, their best. Manipulation. You can't believe anything they told you. They knew your weak spot. <laughs> Spoken like a true believer. 
You're nothing without the CIA woods. Pantheon took me in, showed me their vision for the agency. What do they fucking want, Harrow? This is a pivotal moment in history, Woods. The United States is about to become the world's lone superpower. I don't really think an organization as corrupt, as decadent as the CIA, should pull the world's strings in a new world order? We'll make sure that doesn't happen. After years of studying their strengths and their flaws from the inside, Pantheon is ready to take the reins once our current leadership is gone. Once they've been discredited and shamed, as they deserve. You're fucking crazy. We're going to give Americans a reality check. The CIA can't even keep them safe from the likes of Saddam Hussein and his terrible new weapon. A false flag attack? They won't buy that bullshit. Oh, they'll believe whatever narrative confirms what they want to believe. That's the easiest part of it all. How do you know someone else didn't kill your parents? They could have been the goddamn Pantheon themselves. You were a kid. Can you really trust your own memories? Targets eliminated. It was. How can you be so sure? Targets eliminated. I know it was. It wasn't Adler. You are so, so confused. shard to place. Tell me the Pantheon's plan, Harrow. Where did you send the cradle? I'm close. The mirror is almost complete.
You can't undo what's already happened. Harold! No. You okay? Don't you understand? You can't beat me! You're a part of me! We are in this together! Till the end.
Case, we gotta do something about these guys.
releasing I, the cradle. Uh, I can't remember. You've got to. She's... Oh, I'm, I'm losing control. Fight. You gotta hold on just a little longer. The mirror, it's intact. Inside. What's in the mirror? Avalon. The attacks in Avalon? No. Avalon's where they'll take me once I'm free again. We planned it all from there. We need the cradle. D.C., the Capitol building. They're just waiting on my word to release it. Jesus Christ. That's 5,000 miles from here. It's awful. Everyone within blocks of the Capitol will be infected. Why? Because Livingston's head will roll for an intelligence failure of this magnitude. Failure to stop an attack on our Capitol. An attack using a CIA-funded bioweapon, no less. And someone else will take his place. You. Me. The Pantheon will finally control the institution that cast them out. I'm fading, Frank. You have to stop them. Stop me. We may have one last card to play. Something good. The cradle's in DC. The Capitol building. They're gonna release it after grabbing arrows. Holy shit. 
I let Livingston know. Let's see if that asshole finally listens. Copy that. Fuck. What? What? It's go time. Sad to see you like this, Woods. You try so hard. <laughs> you just don't matter anymore. Fuck you! I'll give the order once we're airborne. <laughs> <laughs> Your suffering will be over soon. What's these? Felix, are you? Oh, I live. Sam, stay with him. Give us some cover fire. Add the case on me. Go, case. We'll be fine.
die. I know what you really are, Case. The cradle made you this. You owe everything to the Pantheon. Destroyer. The cradle. Thanks for coming. You getting medals or concrete boots? Neither. But I can start with an apology. Damn straight. I'm not sure how you pulled it off, but it's not lost on me that you prevented one of the greatest catastrophes of our time. So you want us back? Something like that. Can we trust one another? Working on it. Right now you have something of great value. Anonymity. You're in the shadows. No shit. We've always been in the shadows. Not like this. Your reach is greater than it's ever been. We need you, Woods. All of you. That can provide whatever you need. Accommodations, resources, cash, additional manpower. All of it off the books. I thought the Cold War was over. No more need for, uh, what was it? Global gunslingers. Yes. The Cold War may be over, but the world is more dangerous than it's ever been. The nature of our enemy is unclear now. What do you want us to do about it? What you've always done. Protect us. Harrow may be gone, but not the Pantheon. I need you back in Avalon. You think you're still a threat? I do. And worse. Whatever Cabal brought Harrow into the Pantheon still lives inside our house. We thought they were long gone. But it turns out, they never left. Talking back, I'm talking back, I'm talking back, I didn't later. Fire for 
times it's getting dire. They stand before the people as manipulators. Control is power, not a on the elevator.
talking about a detonator. Fun houses, check your sources, it's my agenda, 